All right, I'm going to do a quick little GIMP tutorial, and this is nothing new. I'm basically, what I'm going to be doing is isolating a foreground object and blurring a background object. There's tons of videos like this on YouTube. I just want to cover some of the tools that I use to do it. So anyways, let me uh, start up GIMP. Uh, what I usually use is the lasso tool or the free select tool, not the uh, scissor tool. And that's like the most common way of doing it, is using the scissor tool. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the lasso tool instead. All right, so let this start up. So over here I have a picture of my girlfriend, so let me just drop her in here. There we go. Nice picture, right? Anyways, so I'm going to be isolating her from the background. But before we do this, we have to duplicate the layer a couple times. But before you duplicate it, you need to right-click, add alpha channel. And what alpha, alpha channel is, is if you erase, it erases to a transparency so you can actually see what's behind the layer, right? If you don't do that, right, if you erase, it erases to a background of white so you need to add an alpha channel so you added an alpha channel now duplicate it twice this bottom layer is going to be your backup layer so just leave it alone I'm just going to go ahead and you know remove the eyeball here so we're just going to be working with these two layers alright so on the top layer we're going to select the lasso tool or free select tool and this is how it kind of works right you can either draw a line like this or click to certain points right so if you want to modify any of these you can just click on the node right here and you can squish it down or bring it back up but see how it stays the same that's the point of it you kind of want the consistency so when you're actually going around curves you can you know maneuver this around just right and if you screw up on a point you can just squish it all the way down to the beginning of the point and start again okay so let me just uh, go back. So we're going to start over here at the bottom of her <laughs> thigh, or <laughs> in a little bit more than that, anyways. Just keep going around the edges. Right. All the way around. And if, you, if you're good at it, you can just go ahead and draw. Like that. And see how I kind of screwed up a little bit right there? I can just grab the node and move it in just a bit click over here and continue on all the way around so I'm going to go ahead and draw a little bit let go click a little bit more click a little bit more you know what I mean keep just keep going around let me bring it back down just a little bit and you don't want it to be too spaced out or too jagged you know what I mean I mean the parts where it's kind of curvy you know bring in your clicks quite a bit you know what I mean don't don't have them too spaced out or also look very very blocky the reason why I like doing this instead of the scissor tool, because the scissor tool tends to be a sporadic. Like it'll kind of like when you click, it'll click up here or down here. You know I mean, this gives you a little better control. And if you have a steady hand, you can really, really uh, cut out an object very, very nicely. So I'm going to continue on with this. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'll be back when I'm done uh, rendering her. Okay? Let me stop it. Okay. So I already went all the way around her. I made my selection. You know, I, I removed some stuff I didn't like. You know what I mean? I just, you know, just take your time and make a, a fairly good selection and the, the, the end result will look a lot better. So anyways. Okay, so now we got to do is blur the background, right? So we're going to go to, uh, first we got to uh, invert the selection. Because right now she's selected. Now we got to select the outside. So we got to go to uh, select, invert. All right now the outer portion is selected go to filters blur motion blur I'm gonna do this one a little bit different usually people just do a Gaussian blur I'm gonna do a motion blur so I'm gonna pick zoom where it says blur outward deselect that so it blurs inward and set it about 15 or so you don't want to get too crazy with it 15 is fine press OK so now it's going to blur this outer portion on this top layer. There it goes, almost done. All right, now go to a select none. And it kind of looks finished, but it's not really finished, right? In case you get some mess ups, which I purposely did right here. See, like the hair doesn't look right, and you know what I mean? Um, the reason why you have the second layer is like a touch-up layer. So go to the bottom layer, 
we're going to deselect the eyeball so you can see what I mean. All right, the second layer, do the same thing. Now go to filters, blur, you know, motion blur. The same thing, you know, the same same settings. Press OK. Now it's going to blur this whole layer. And, you know, her, including her too. Come on, it's almost done. And remember how I was talking about alpha channels and stuff? How you erase to a transparency? That's the whole point of this. All right, so now that's blurred. Now click to your top layer, select your eraser, go into your little uh, brush settings right here, I mean your little tool brush. Get a fuzzy brush, I suppose. You can either, let me select the, uh, this upper layer, you gotta hit the eyeball again so you can see it. You can either just, uh, you know, get your fuzzy brush and, you know, erase it out like so. Because when it's erasing, it's actually erasing this layer to make this layer visible. You know what I mean? You can do that. <clears throat> or you can select your, uh, your free select tool if you like and just select some certain parts like here, through here, maybe a little bit right there, down a little bit more. Go out to here, maybe like so. All right, finish the selection, right click, edit, cut. Oops, I'm sorry, I did the wrong layer. On top, the top layer, I mean, edit, cut. There he goes. You're cutting the top there, not the bottom there. Select none. And see that kind of helps get rid of the, the uh, like any type of hard edges or, or uh, things you just don't want, right? And like hard edges here, you can, you know, use your eraser and just kind of just touch it up just a bit. Just barely. But at a distance, like, you know, especially with the big picture, you don't, you don't really notice that. It kind of brings the whole... Uh, idea of having a sharp image in the front and a blurred image in the background you know what I mean so if you want to like add focus to the image right make a transparent layer press OK select your gradient tool on the tool settings of the gradient tool where it says linear select radial and make sure your your gradient set on of uh, set on to FG to BG click the little little box right here to reverse it from the center pull out right now on this this layer up here we're gonna go to soft light and you can't really see the difference but it's real subtle it kind of brings a, a lightness to the center and a darkness to the edges let me uh, press uh, the low eyeball see what I mean let me get a little closer oh there it goes anyways so that's that. It's really easy to do. Go to a file, save as. And yeah, save it. Replace. Export. Uh, up to quality. Just press save. And that's it, really. Nice picture, right? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll try to make more GIMP videos. You know, I, I've been kind of lazy about it. You know what I mean? I have a lot of ideas, but the problem is I have a time limit, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to do like some simple stuff like this, you know what I mean?